Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm really happy to come back again to talk about the new tip and trick for a developer. The basic command line in Unix system and the Linux system. So you can do it for install like uh, as you know uh, uh, some library and you develop such as uh, iOS, Android or web application. You need to use command line to speed up your development because uh, it really simple, fast, and not complicated. But uh, actually, if you are a developer, you need to learn about it. At least you can uh, create a new file, you can copy, you can move file, you can delete directory, you can install any library for your project. Uh, for example, for iOS. Can install it by using Cocopash or remove any file. Yeah, it's all about the example. So today, I will talk about the basic command line in uh, Linux system, and you can choose it in Mac OS. So the first thing I want to show you is command uh, touch. Command touch is create uh, used to create a new file. Yeah, as you can see, and now here, um, stay in the folder called demo, and I want to use, uh, I want to create a new file. We can use the touch command to create a new file. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, so now I have a three, uh, I have the two folder, uh, one file folder, and I want to create a new file, a txt file. So I can just. Uh, 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 touch command to create a new file and I can name file uh, new file.txt so I enter so when I list the file in the more directory you will see the new one file is a uh, new file that I create by using a touch command so in here is a new file okay I think you understand it really simple yeah all right Okay, uh, as you can see, I have one more file. Okay, uh, I think you understand about it. So, the next thing I want to show you is uh, CP. What we use CP for? Uh, CP is um, copy file. Use this command to copy file. Okay, uh, yeah. We can say, um, okay, I need to open it. Here is a tag file. I can say, like my forever, and I save it. Save it, and so in the new file, it have a content. Yes, it have a content. So, uh, Yeah, we need. Uh, we can use uh, uh, one command for list content in the new file by using less new file. Okay, as you can see, here is uh, our content in our new file. Dot txt, and you can go back by click uh, Q Q uh, button. So. Yeah, actually, we can just cut a uh, command to uh, view the content of your file like this. Okay. So let's go ahead to uh, cp command. We use it to uh, copy file. Okay, let's say copy new file to where we can. Copy on the same uh, directory by rename to new file two dot txt and press enter. So when we list it, you will see a new file, new file two from new file one. We can delete the content from the new file two. As you can see, we have the same content as the new file dot txt. Because uh, we copy that file to the new file. 
Yes, I think you understand. Uh, it, 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 it really simple. So, uh, one more thing is I want to uh, show you more about uh, how to create a uh, command to create a directory in the language we can use uh, mkdir for create a new directory we can say new folder yeah uh, mkdir so and then we need to put the name of your folder so you can say um, new so when we list it you will see the new folder yeah we can also list by say la okay so the next thing the next command I need to show you is a command for move or rename file or directory so we use mv it means move or rename file or directory so we can use uh, mv and then okay we need to list the file easy to understand so we can use mv to move okay for example i want to move new file to into the new directory new folder so i can say new txt and the destination where I can say new enter when we list it you will oh I move the new file so when we list we don't see a new file.tat because uh, we move it to the new folder so we can list new folder okay as you can see the new file yeah, all right. Sorry. So we can create by using command clear. Yeah, uh, I think you understand. One more thing, we can just uh, MV to rename your file. So we can say move. Uh, move. I, I I need to uh, rename the new file to dot txt to new file dot txt. So we can put the old file name and the new file name dot txt. So I press enter. When we list it, you will see new file dot txt and new file two dot txt is no longer in here because uh, we rename it to the new file.txt I think uh, it's simple and I hope you understand so the next command I want to show you is uh, remove file how to remove file command we can use om for remove file and we can use uh, re uh, om to remove file or directory so okay let's okay I, I i copy a new file because i want to delete to uh i can say tem dot txt i will it i can see tem dot txt so i can use om and t it means i will delete tem from here when i enter when I list again, it will no longer be temp.txt. Okay, alright. So, if I want to delete this directory, so I cannot do like this. Because inside that folder, it has file. Or sometimes we have a, a subfolder in, in there, subdirectory. So, when we click, like this, it will say um, the name of our directory is a directory. 
so we can remove like that so how to delete the folder delete the directory by using command or um, we need to put an option before uh, 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 we, we need to put uh, option between command or um, with the directory name so we can say or um, minus or it means recursive remove directory structure so uh, we can put the name of directory and we press enter so when we list it again the new directory is no longer because it removed already okay i think you understand about it okay uh the next thing i want to yeah uh the next thing i want to show you is uh how to compress your file yeah how to compress your file so uh in the line we can just uh, compress command to compress your file and new file and enter and you you list it you will see the file name here okay we cannot un identify because uh, it really small okay the next thing I want to show you is uh, okay I need to create a uh, new directory again and the next thing is I want to show you about uh, how to uh, go to the next uh, how to change directory in the language we can just see the command to change directory it means when i want to go to inside the uh, uh, same folder like i want to go to the new folder new directory i can just see the and i can put the name and i go inside there so we can just see uh, we can uh, uh, list down but in no file so i can uh, create a new file example so I have one file yeah uh, I think you understand so um, the next thing is the next command is uh, how to print working directory on on here so we can use PWD to print the current part that we stay on so I stay on new folder new new directory but uh, full path we don't know so we can use uh, pwd to show our full path so pwd and press enter so you will see the new folder is in user and the you know, user computer and the desktop and a demo and the new directory so this new directory is here is a full path so we can use PWD to show the full part. Okay, so the next thing is uh, one thing I want to show you is how to change back to parent directory. We can use CD and we can use that up to go back to a parent directory. Okay, uh, the next command is I want to show you is uh, remove a directory, is it empty? It means we can remove a directory if it empty. It means we can remove a directory that no file inside there, inside it. So we can use another command. Yeah. So I can create a new folder. Can say okay, okay so i list it sorry i list it i will say a kk folder kk a directory so i don't need to use rm like before so we have another command 
rm directory so we use command this command to remove directory if it empty if it no content in there no file no subfolder subdirectory so we can use it and okay let's try with a new directory new directory is have a, a file inside it so we can try with it and the new directory is not empty because uh, this command we cannot use to delete directory that has some file inside there so we can only use to delete the empty directory okay let's delete it so the directory kk is no longer in here okay i hope you uh, understand about it so the next thing I want to show you is um, yeah one more thing is uh, echo echo in here we need we used to write a string to uh, stand up output yeah okay so I can print my forever studio in there so it's print a string it is simple and basically it's uh, just a print text to the output so don't worry about it okay the next thing I want to show you is um, yeah the command to display a menu page for selection command okay uh, we can use some uh, men to show a manual page okay let me example for you uh, I can I want to know ls information so I can use a command man and put the command that you want to know about description so I put I enter so you will see the name is ls for list directory content yeah and the description and here the follow uh, option uh, available for the answer you can read anytime so we can use main command to uh, 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 access the menu page I mean the description of any command line on any command so when we want to go back you just press Q yeah I think uh, you understand about it. Okay. Um, yeah. One more command is uh, history. What is history? History command. What we need to use it. Uh, history command is used to list the command try during the session. It means uh, history of our command that we try in the current session so we can try history and you will see here is all our command that we ties we just type okay I think you understand because it's simple and one more thing is the command who who is used for display who is on the system yeah here yeah. is uh, my username as my computer yeah and I on the console and you can just uh, command who am I to display the invoking user yeah it will really simple I think you understand about it Yeah, actually we can use um, command that to show our, our current that it is simple and yeah uh, what we need to show next is
Yeah, the last one is I want to show you is a compare to file. You can use um, command C M P to compare two files. And for example, I need to put a new file. This is the first one, and the next one is I use a folder. And here, I set the first chart one by one. We can just to compare like that. Yes. Uh, Okay, what I need to do next is um, yeah, I think it is a basic for you to learn because uh, to getting start to development, I think you should be know or uh, the common line that I saw you, I just saw you above it's because you are developer. Okay, so. If you have any question, you can ask me below this video or comment to my Facebook page, my Twitter, and my website. So I think you understand, and I think you like it. If you like it, just share and like. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more video faster. So get things to support us to share this and subscribe us. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Um, if you have a question, you can ask me below this video. Okay, thank you. And one more thing, you can suggest uh, any topic that you want me to show you, everyone. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.